rolling. Y'all know what today is, right? Taco Tuesdays! <laughs> yeah, that's sort of his thing. We all know that LeBron and his family, Betsy, love Taco Tuesday, right. but we also know that that's kind of a cheat day for him because his diet is intense. I mean, it has to be. He's a finely tuned machine. Well, Chef Anna from Anna in the Raw works out of the IMG International Building. That's downtown here in Cleveland, where she gets a chance to work with plenty of professional athletes, which is a, that's very important. They take this stuff very seriously. They need to. And even when they eat healthy, they splurge. Sure. We all splurge, okay. all right? But it doesn't have to be that bad. So Chef Anna is dishing on some favorite splurge meals and how she's going to make them healthier. So I've been lucky to be able to cook for a lot of athletes. And just like us, believe it or not, celebrities battle cheat days and everything else. So I've been working with people that are getting back into the season and getting ready for practice. I have a lot of clients that also want to stay away from the high carbs. Basically what I did is I took some of the cauliflower rice and I made tater tots. Shut up. No, I did. And you could put cheese in it, you could put bacon if you eat bacon, you could put just love in it. And then I put like a little hot sauce. Logan Allen is one of my favorite pitchers for the Indians, go tribe. He also, like he's so lovely, he's such a great guy, so nice. He wanted to do low carb, so this is a big option that he would enjoy. Somebody that really, really enjoys this is Lauren Davis. Lauren, she's a professional tennis player. She's at the US Open, she's awesome. And Phil Taylor, go Browns. My favorite Browns player always, way back when LeBron, maybe you heard of him, started in Cleveland. He would, as all humans, we all have our cheat days. We all want to have a big pizza or whatever. All the time when the players would come in, you know, maybe they went a little crazy that night. Maybe they little had a little too many treats. So they would also want to do the low carb. So a lot of times it was always like something with the cauliflower base, a low carb fried rice. Pizza's a big one because that's something, this pizza right here is just the vegan cheese, but this one uh, is high protein because I use the nut cheese that I make. So it's a high protein, low carb, and this is 450 calories for the whole thing. So you can still eat a whole pizza and still feel good about yourself. That, you know what, if it works for LeBron and these professional athletes, maybe we should all give it a try. Here's a fact. Yeah. I try to make something like that, and guess what? It tastes like cauliflower. <laughs> I know. I know. When I was it watching you make the tater tots out yeah. of cauliflower, I, all I could think of is what's the point? Right. <laughs> Just, I mean, I know it's healthy, yeah. but it's still cauliflower. It, it is. You know. And you can, like, try and warp your brain to yeah. ignore it. But. And if you, you know, look, if you've got great discipline, you can make it work. That's then what it's all about. you taste a potato for the first time, and you're like, I love potatoes <laughs> I so much. There's a reason they're made out of potatoes they make and not cauliflower. So happy. <laughs> Coming up at 5:30, Anna's going to show us how to make cauliflower fried rice. The whole recipe has only 80 calories, mm. so that that's the reason. It's also low carb, which Betsy is, you know, completely true. Carbs are huge. Yes. We know that.